Hey guys and welcome to this video. So today's video is going to be kind of a one brand makeup tutorial on Wet n Wild. This was my most highly requested video on my e.l.f. one brand tutorial. I can link that video down below. But I asked what other one brand tutorials you guys would want to see and overwhelmingly it was definitely Wet n Wild. So of course I did it and I thought in addition to doing the actual tutorial I would do some first impressions. So there's a few first impressions kind of sprinkled throughout the video but the main first impression I wanted to share with you guys is this brand new collection from Wet n Wild. This is their new unicorn collection. It looks so gorgeous. So I'll swatch all of this stuff for you guys, but what comes in the collection is this new unicorn glow highlighting brush, and then these three limited edition loose pigments down here, all kind of like summery colors, and then we've got three different highlighters up here at the top, and then there's two iridescent lip colors. They're kind of like iridescent lipsticks slash lip toppers. So that's everything that's in the new collection. I'll be swatching all of this for you throughout the video and giving you my final thoughts at the end. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I'm gonna start with foundation. I'm gonna use the Photo Focus foundation in the shade Bronze Beige. It's nice, I don't feel like it's super long lasting and if you have very acne prone or sensitive skin, I wouldn't use this as your everyday foundation, but I do love that they have such a huge color range and that there's no SPF in this foundation because it makes it a really great option for an evening foundation that'll look good in flash photography. And I'm just using the Wet n Wild Large Stipple Brush to blend all of this out. This is the first time I'm using this brush and it's like shedding on my face. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M439 brush to finish blending this out because this brush is shedding all over me. So now I'm gonna take a product I know I really like and I've liked it more and more as I've kept using it and it's the Photo Focus Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Ivory and this really brightens up the under eyes. It's really really long wearing and it dries matte so if you have oily skin definitely give this a try. I'm just going to use my finger to blend it out. Okay now I'm going to take their Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Warm Beige and I'm just going to take that on this small kabuki brush from their spring collection. I've heard a lot of really really great things about this powder and I do think it's a good one um, but I don't, it's not my new favorite which is why I haven't really mentioned it a whole lot here on my channel. But I would say out of the this whole photo focus line, the powder and the concealer are definitely better than the foundation, but I would say the concealer is the standout product. Okay, next up is contouring. So I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild contouring palette in the shade Dolce de Leche. This is one of my very favorite contouring palettes. I absolutely love it. This contouring shade is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna take that on the Wet n Wild contour brush. It's just a nice small angled brush and take that underneath my cheekbones as well as along my hairline. Next I'm going to take this brush, I think this is the blush brush, with the lighter shade and just kind of highlight the same places where we put the concealer. Okay and then using that same brush I'm going to apply one of my very favorite Wet n Wild blushes and it is the shade Rosé Champagne from their Color Icon collection. It's just a very muted kind of tan bronzy blush color with a little bit of shimmer running through it and since I'm going to do some colorful eye makeup I want the blush to be very understated and not distract from the eye makeup. Okay so now on to highlight. So the three new highlighters in this new unicorn collection are number one, the Bronze Over the Rainbow, which is a gorgeous kind of golden bronzy color with light bronze, dark bronze, and a little bit of a cream color running through it. And then we have Everlasting Glow. This is for people that like more of a pinky highlight. You could use this as a blush topper or even as a very shimmery blush on its own. And then the last one is the Unicorn Glow, which is kind of the star of the collection. It's a rainbow highlighter with all the colors of the rainbow. It's super bright and fun. I could see myself maybe playing with this over the summer, but it's kind of out of my comfort zone. But since this is kind of a summery look, I'm going to go with the bronze color. This is the bronze over the rainbow shade, and I'm going to use that on the new Unicorn Glow brush, which looks absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just going to focus my brush here in the center so that it's not too dark of a shade on my skin, but that we get that bronzy effect. Very subtle so far. Let me get kind of below the first layer of film. There we go. You gotta kinda get below that first layer and then it's absolutely gorgeous and very pigmented. 
Wow, that is gorgeous. And I love this brush. It is so cute. And it did a really good job of like digging in there when I was trying to get that first layer of film off. Okay, next up our brows. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Ultimate Eyebrow Kit. I've never actually used this before, but we're going to give it a shot today. It actually comes with a pair of tweezers, like a mini pair of tweezers, and a mini brow brush, which actually looks like it might work. But I have their small angled brush, so I'm going to use that instead just because it has a little bit longer of a handle. And I'm going to mix these two shades. I think I'm somewhere in between. This is really not bad. The shade is a nice match for me. This brush isn't that great. I like the e.l.f. small angled brush way better than this one. It's a little bit stiff, but the actual product is doing a pretty good job. You definitely have to be careful with this. It's very pigmented, so I went a little bit crazy in my inner corners of my brows because I wasn't expecting the level of pigmentation, but it was easy to blend out, and I feel like the color match is really, really great. All right, next, I'm gonna set my brows using this Wet n Wild Mega Clear Mascara, just so that they don't budge throughout the day. I've never used this before either. Not bad, my biggest pet peeve with these types of brow mascaras are when they deposit way too much product and it looks like all of a sudden your eyebrows are greased back. And that wasn't the case with this. It was enough product that got on my brows to kind of put them in place, but I don't feel like my eyebrows are wet right now. Okay, next up is eyes. And I'm gonna be using this All Natural palette. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm gonna be using this palette in the shade Nude Awakening. And I'm gonna start with the lightest color here just to set the concealer that I put on my eyes earlier. And of course I'm going to be using my crease brush that I love so much. Okay next on that same brush I'm going to take this shade, this kind of medium shade right here and use that through my crease. This will just be the transition color. Okay so now I'm going to take this deeper color right here, this kind of maroon shade, and focus that really really narrowly in my crease, not taking it too far up toward my brow bone. I'm actually gonna take this color on my inner corner and outer corner, leaving the middle of my lid blank, and then just connect it through the crease, but not on the lid. I'm gonna go back to that, the blending brush we were using before, and just blend out the edges. Okay, next up are these loose pigments I am so excited about. This first shade is called Pegasus Flutter, and it's like a nice, soft, lavender shade that's absolutely gorgeous. This next one is called Unicorn Wishes and it's a gorgeous blue with gold shimmer running through it. I'm really excited to use that one. And then we have Mythical Dreams and this is kind of a mixture between the two. It's like an iridescent purple with blue running through it. It's my favorite. I'm gonna use the shade Mythical Dreams which is the deeper purple shade. Absolutely love these because of the packaging. There's a little sifter here so that when you open it, it doesn't go everywhere. So you just open up that little sifter and then you can pop some into the lid and just get only as much as you're going to need. But before we do that, I'm gonna take this Photo Focus eyeshadow primer and just put this in the center of my lid where we're gonna be putting the pigment. And I'm gonna use a small concealer brush to apply it. And this will just give the pigment something to stick to. And then using that same concealer brush, I'm gonna dab my brush into the lid and then apply it onto the center where we just put the eyeshadow primer. That is so pretty. There's a tiny bit of fallout, nothing crazy. Now I'm gonna go back to the eyeshadow brush that we used to apply that deep kind of maroon, and I'm gonna dip it into the black and do the same thing we did to the maroon by darkening up the inner and outer corner. Now going back to that blending brush, just blending everything out, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit of that black eyeshadow underneath my eyes as well. And now I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Dark Brown and use this just to line my upper lash line, and I'm doing just a really, really small wing. I really like this color. It's a deep, deep brown, so it still gives that intensity to the lash line, but it's a little bit softer than a black. Okay, next up, I'm gonna be using this Photo Focus Lash Primer. I've never used this before, so excited about this. I'm just gonna coat my upper lashes, and then go in with this Wet n Wild Renegade Mascara. This is also the first time I'm using this. The packaging is really cool, and this wand reminds me of that e.l.f. mascara I just showed in my e.l.f. tutorial. Ooh, this stuff works. The lash primer was okay. Um, I feel like I like the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer better, but it's definitely a little bit pricier than this Wet n Wild one. I actually really like this mascara. I think it did a good job. I might pop on some falsies, but first I'm gonna do my lips. And for that, I'm gonna be using their gel lip liner. This, I don't know if you guys read the description box where I always put the makeup I'm wearing on all my videos. I've been wearing this lip liner like every single day. This is my new favorite lip liner, definitely. So I've tried this before and I couldn't recommend it enough. This is the shade Bare to 
to comment and it just works with everything. And I'm going to be using a mixture of the shade Give Me Mocha and Nudie Patootie. These are their Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks. I don't, if you haven't heard me talk about these before, they're amazing, long lasting, not drying, absolutely incredible liquid lipsticks. Some of the best at the drugstore. So I'm gonna use that kind of as a base and then take this nudie patootie one in the center. Okay, and then last up from the Unicorn Glow collection, we've got these iridescent lip colors. I'm not much of an iridescent lip color kind of girl. You guys know I love my plain nude lipsticks, but we're gonna give them a shot. There's two shades here. There's Immortal Tears, which is like an icy lavender shade that I think would need to be a topper just because it's very, very light. And then we've got Unicorn Soul, which reminds me a lot of the pigment I chose because it's like a purpley shade with blue running through it. We're gonna be daring and just go for the Unicorn Soul one and put this over top the lip color I have on right now and see how it goes. Oh wow, <laughs> that's something else. That that is definitely something else. I feel like a unicorn now. Okay, so my final thoughts on this Unicorn Glow collection are that it's a lot of fun. You can make some really fun, really creative, bright, and vibrant makeup looks with these products. But if you prefer very natural makeup, neutral colors, you just wanna kind of enhance your features, not like stand out from the crowd, you're not gonna want anything to do with this collection, but if you're looking for some really fun, vibrant makeup, these products are just that. I think if you are on the natural neutral end, this brush might still be worth picking up. I think this is a great quality brush and I think it's a really cool looking one. This reminds me of very high-end brushes and it performs like one. As far as the highlighters go, I mean it's wet and wild. Of course the highlighters are super pigmented and blinding. Do I like these better than say the Mega Glow highlighting powders? No, I don't. I don't think that they're as smooth. I think they're a little bit more glittery than this collection or the gold bar that came out with the holiday collection. These loose pigments on the other hand, I got these in the holiday collection so I have like the gold, rose gold, all of those colors. If you didn't get a chance to try these loose pigments from the holiday collection, get your hands on them for the summer. Even if you're a neutral makeup kind of person, this lavender shade I feel like is really, really wearable. But if you like more intensity, these two shades are really fun. This blue one has gold running through it and then this is the one I have on right now it's like an iridescent purple with blue you definitely definitely need a primer with these these are not the type of pigments that you can wear all on their own and get the staying power and the vibrancy out of them so if you have that wet and wild eyeshadow primer you're definitely gonna want to put that down before using these and make sure you're using a synthetic brush that wet n wild concealer brush did a really good job so you can really pack these on the lid but i think these are a lot of fun and i'm a huge fan of their loose pigments in general but i know that they're always limited edition so get your hands on them now while you can and then last but not least these lip toppers again a lot of fun if you go to a lot of festivals or you like to do really fun makeup looks these are awesome. I feel like it added a ton of life to my lip color, but again, it's just not me. It's not something I'm gonna reach for, so it's not something I'm gonna recommend to you guys. I'm not saying it's a bad product, it's just something I won't reach for. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this like one brand tutorial slash unicorn glow collection first impression. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so I know you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.